25 of lockdown. I never thought I'd be doing 25 videos daily. Never, uh, I've never done that before. It takes some doing as well. It's uh, sometimes it can be hard work getting yourself up to get out. But once, once I'm out, it's fine. But uh, if you've had a bit of a bad day, then it's sometimes a bit of a struggle. But uh, here we are. So last night, set the camera with all good intentions, having having caught the two foxes together on the same video. I believe to be a pair. I don't think they're like brother or sister or anything like that. But you never know. Um, so yeah, set the camera again in sort of a, it wasn't a daffodil <laughs> pigeons. It wasn't a daffodil bush, it was some kind of, I don't know, it's like a reedy, it was, it was a bit marshy there. Or it has been marshy in, in the past, I think, but it's dried out a lot now. So anyway, there's a, there's a little bush and I put the camera in there and uh, went to collect the camera this morning and all the bait was out. I thought, well, that's not a good sign. However, there were two, two or three videos, not quite what I was after, but uh, take a look. cats again um, and where I've placed the camera it's 200 yards from uh, housing and uh, I've seen cats in the in the vicinity of the uh, houses so they're obviously just roaming in the woods and they're a bit inquisitive so uh, yeah that's all I got but I'm gonna put the camera back there again tonight because I'm hopeful that they've obviously been there, they've been there on a regular basis. So you never know, they might come back again another night. So I'm going to stick with it for now because it's uh, it's convenient for me to collect the camera in the morning. It's literally five minutes and I'm going into the woods to collect the camera and back home again. So uh, I'm going to stick with that for the time being. So I did promise that uh, if Paul outdoors got his footage back from his wildlife camera and uh, put a video up on his YouTube channel that uh, I would give him a shout out and uh, put a link down in the description. Well he has, he's uh, got his footage back, he's done a video, he very kindly um, mentioned me in the video so thanks for that Paul and uh, he did indeed get some good footage uh, he got some fox footage and uh, he also got some badger footage it was right outside the entrance to the badger set and really clear pictures so uh, yeah the HC100 it worked really well so uh, yeah very pleased for you there Paul and uh, you know never know one day maybe I'll uh, get some badger footage but yeah, if you want to uh, if you want to watch that video, then uh, I'll put a link down in the description to uh, Paul Outdoors. So in the last few days, I've decided to uh, treat myself uh, to a new book. It's an animal tracking book by Hamlin. Uh, I've just just got it today. Just came today. I've just been reading through it. Um, obviously in the fox section, and uh, yeah, it's really good. It, it covers all animals in Europe so there's a lot of things in there that we don't get in the UK like bears and stuff like that but uh, everything we get is in there foxes badgers otters all that kind of thing so yeah it breaks all the uh, tracks down into you know how footprints are formed and how they vary from animal to animal and um, it shows stride length and how the actual and the difference in walking uh, trotting and stalking, running, things like that. 
and it shows the different uh, stride patterns and how the tracks sort of overlap each other sometimes depending on the type of animal. Uh, it goes into drop-ins and habitat and where they live and where they like to wander, all that kind of thing. So it's just just a bit of a bit of assistance really for when I'm doing my tracking. So uh, again, I'll put a link down in the description if you want to have a look at that. I spotted this the other night and I decided to look it up. It's purple flower and there's a big carpet of it all over here. And I believe it's called Bugle. If you know any different, then please let me know. For those of you that have got your own YouTube channel, if you're interested in uh, creating your own professional looking thumbnails, um, there's a piece of software that's free to use. Um, I'll put a link down in the description. Uh, you can create really good thumbnails. <coughs> well, I think you can. It's the one I use anyway, whether you think my thumbnails are great or not. <laughs> but that's just, uh, that's just my artistic ability. If you've got a bit more flair, then uh, you could be able to create better ones. But yeah, it's a free piece of software. Link down in the description if you've uh, got your own YouTube channel. This one's nearly in my hair. Right, so that's the end of my walk now. I've uh, I've placed the camera, ready for tomorrow. So uh, fingers crossed again. We'll see how we get on. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, which is here or the one down there, and don't forget to click on that bell icon so you don't miss out on my next video. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.